It's been immensely beneficial for my mental health, mainly, um, just to meet fellow young people who have been affected by HD, especially coming together at Camp 2018. HDO has had a very positive impact on my life. Um, I come from a family who doesn't really talk about HD, so being able to join a community where you can talk about it freely and meet other people in the same position as you is a, is a huge deal. The impact it had on me was mostly to find a sense of community because coming from Pakistan, I did not feel that growing up. My parent was going through a degenerative neurological condition and I had nowhere to turn to for help except HTYO, where I found all the resources I needed for the information. When I found HTO, I was amazed and also really um really inspired by the amount of um, actions they take to helping young people, which I thought, um, you look back and to think like my parents didn't have those resources and, and my grandfather didn't have those resources. And I was coming up in a time that these resources were now available and they were global. So I, um, I jumped on the opportunity to work with the HDO. A social worker from the Huntington Society here in um, Ontario got me connected with uh, YPAD and HDYO. And then from there, it kind of um, spiraled into this great support system from HDYO. Uh, HDO and Chandler had not been there. My story in my experience, probably would not have been as great of a um, success as I think it was. Whenever I feel I'm going through something related to HD, I just know that I have a family. I have a family where I can rely on, and that's HDYO. I sent um, a letter, I wrote a letter to Matthew, and uh, Matthew said, uh, and. Uh, and surprisingly, I got a reply in just half day because of the time difference and everything. And I was surprised that, oh, somebody sitting so far away is so concerned with what I'm writing and what I'm saying. He knows what disease I'm talking about. It's not He's not saying that, yeah, this thing happened with, in paralysis or this thing happened in Parkinson. I'm talking about a different disease here. Some days you need someone you need to talk to someone who exactly knows what you're going through and they can relate to it. HDO has honestly changed my life. By not knowing anyone that was my age when I first started dealing with Huntington's and now I have a whole community of people that I know are standing behind me and they're there whenever I need support. And that's a really cool feeling. The Impact HDO has had on me has been great. Uh, it's been there as a support network when I've wanted to talk about things. It has provided a community um, across the world which we can sort of participate in, which is great. Camp was lots of emotions up and down all the time, very draining, um, but in a good way. And I learned a lot of things that I never thought um, I would be able to fully understand. I feel like things were explained to me in a way that anybody can understand, as opposed to all the fancy doctor speak that you get when you go to the hospital and things like that. It was an opportunity to learn and um, support others and just sort of unwind from all the responsibility. And I've met some amazing friends that I'll know for life now that I can connect with online. The start of the camp, I was really nervous because I didn't know anyone and a lot of the people that have been there sort of knew each other ever so slightly. Um, so I was nervous to begin with, but then once I got to know everyone and um, the group started and you started talking, it was it was really good. So when I got in contact with HTO, I went to a camp, I got a lot of information and I met a lot of friends through that. And the one part that really impacted me the most uh, was when we had our camp in England. They are the best, actually, because it's not only about meeting people in the same, around the same situation. Every family is, of course, different, but you learn from their own experience and what, like, their pos positive thinking through all that is, like, the most important thing to, like, take home. But at the same time, time at those camps, you actually get to have a new family and you get to do stuff that you don't actually do when you're home with the 
a sick family. It was really nice to be able to um, just kind of like meet people your age who are going through the same things as you are, because a lot of times, especially in certain areas, you don't have a lot of other interaction with families that have HD because it's not very common. I didn't realize like the importance of fun for a really long time. Um, as a young person growing up with an HD family, fun is like the first thing to go from your life when you start to take care of your parents and you're worried about having a disease yourself and all the different relationship issues that come along with um, being affected by HD. And uh, I was had so much fun and all the games and activities and all the icebreakers. It gave me a chance to meet tons of people that are dealing with the same things, to learn about more about Huntington's, about the different parts of it, and just kind of giving me a chance to cope with it all while around other people that care and are my age. It provided me with an opportunity to meet people who are like me, um, who have all kind of had some experience with Huntington's disease, which is really good because I hadn't met many people. HDIO has been a godsend for me because I was actually at the HDYO camp when I found out that my mother passed away and they were literally an army behind me. Like I would have been a completely, I always tell everyone, I would have been in a completely different spot in life had it not been for HDYO being there for me, not only that day, but every day since then. So pretty much 50 strangers, a couple people knew each other, but within 24 hours, everyone knew each other. We were all friends, we were all family. I felt so comfortable there. I felt like I could tell these people my deepest, darkest problems because they could all relate to them. I was able to attend the first, or not the, the first one, but the second um, HDYO camp. And from that camp, I gained an amazing support system um, for youth my age. Going to camp, I was able to form a relationship with so many people my age and younger and older um, that, in my opinion, I'll have forever. They, um, It was nervous going because I didn't know what to expect from other people who were affected by Huntington's. But then once getting there and forming relationships and bonds with people who have the same problems as my mom, like, it was truly amazing. The web page is really important for me because I've had a lot of family members from my mom's side that doesn't know about HD or friends that just ask me, what is HD? I don't know what it is. Or I think I got the wrong information because like yada, 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 I read this on Wikipedia or something. So I just send them the HDO web page and they are like oh we didn't know this it's given a really accessible way of educating and telling people about the things that affect me um, and my family um, i've been able to sort of direct people towards the website and it's given a easy breakdown of things that um sort of in an accessible way to inform people about the ins and outs of HD. HDO is a very needed, appreciated, and undervalued project that needs to all the support it can get. Ever since I've learned to buy HDO, I've, I've really wanted to get involved more, and I really like the movement of young people. Um, and the real change in, um, not, I mean, not atmosphere, but in the, the spirit and the community in Hunt, the Huntington's disease community at the moment to be open and talk through whether it's social media or these kind of events. The nature of the disease is such that people don't talk about it. Um, so feeling like you can talk about it, it's okay to talk about it, and it's also okay to kind of have a joke about it as well because it's the only way that. Um, makes it a bit more bearable to live with. I think it's a really positive thing for a lot of people, like a lot of young people, um, that they can't get anywhere else, that you can't get at a doctor's surgery, that you can't get from your friends, from, from anywhere. So I think that's a really good thing. All the information you need, it's there. All, all of those friends you were seeking or just 
something that you felt missing when when you grow up with someone with HD. Everything exists with HDO. HDYO is honestly a fantastic program for kids of all ages to come meet people who are also their age in a very similar situation because as like a child it's sometimes hard to like understand what you're going through. HDO is vital, extremely, extremely vital to young adults trying to navigate being young and like just a regular like career day to day life um, stuff that a twenty year old or early thirty year you know year olders are um, going through you know um, testing not testing enjoying your twenties finding a career getting all the insurance and stuff in line if you want to get uh, if you're going to get tested I think that it's amazing like I said it gives people a sense of community and it helps other young people see that they're not alone. I don't know what I would have done if we didn't have HDO, um, their website in particular, and then like the resource to go on camp, having met now other people, um, and we still stay in contact. Um, I think I would still be feeling quite alone, which was, um, which was really tough before I actually met other people. So yeah, it's been super helpful. There's never really anything like that before the HDO. There's the NYA, but the camps that the HDO does, the time that they put into the camps, I just, I love everything the organization stands for. I love everything they do. I want to see the HDIO succeed and grow past what they are right now. <laughs> you can feel very alone, so it's creating more communities and more um, support networks uh, for people and for young people um, that are at risk or carer, young carers or um, anyone having to deal with this disease. I think um, that HDO is a beautiful organization that really strives to improve the lives of young people affected by HD. I look at HDYO as like another family. I think that it is um, it is a family uh, where I can can talk about HD as freely as I want. There were days when I was very low and I was not feeling that great, but I saw I got a notification. I used to open that um, group, and somebody would have just gotten their result, and if and if they were okay with those results and if they were writing something for us to be encouraged. It meant so much and, and I used to say to myself, you know, if that person can say this, I need to get up and do whatever task I was assigned to do today because, you know, I need to fight and I have to be, I have to be okay with it. I think it's great. I think it's a resource which was missing. Um, I've seen it grow um, over the past five, six years and I've seen the effect that it's had on people. It's fantastic. Life-saving. Helpful. Community, because you can just talk about everything and anything, and everyone is always there to support you, like, no matter what. Life-changing. Amazing. An army, because they are an army of supporters behind you. Inspirational. Brilliant. Valuable. Family. Brilliant. I just think it's so important for anyone in the HD community to be a part of and to know that it's there because it will make such a huge difference to your life to be able to meet people and talk to them about what you're going through. It will change your life. Thanks to you guys, I'm really happy that I don't have to be stressed out anymore. I don't have to be anxious anymore. I can read the information I need. I can seek the friends who are related to HD and seek for support and not worry anymore like I used to when I was just a teeny tiny girl. Thank you. Thank you for being there on the hardest day of my life and every day since then. Thanks for being positive and constant positives in my life, whether it be through the staff members, volunteers, or campers that I've met along my life. Thanks for doing the camps because like I said, I don't know where I'd be today if it weren't for the camps. That turned me, it turned my worst day into a positive one, looking back at it, because 
I had all the staff members from HBO there, and they're still here with me today, whether they're here physically or through the internet, through Skype calls, through Facebook. So thank you to HCYO for everything you've helped me with. To all those people who are currently in a similar situation to mine, where you've had family members affected by HG, uh, don't give up. Just keep on going. Thank you for everybody that came together and organizing the HDO. Um, I'm really grateful for the work that they do, and I hope to continue to help them grow and provide more services to young people. Thank you very much for starting up HCYO.